hello welcome to this video today i'm going to show you how to get started marketing your flutterflow application it's so terrible that a lot of persons spend months building your flutterflow application you know launch it to a great fanfare but at the end of the day no downloads on the app store no downloads on the play store so it can be really really terrible i mean it can really hurt your feelings and it can um it might be that you've wasted your money because every app on the play store is competing for the user's attention you know these are all cool apps on the on the um ios store hulu duolingo um disney instagram tiktok um this is the android store and you would see a whole lot of app you know there's a whole lot of app over here thousands and thousands of app launched on the on the play store every single day and you really have to understand how to get things started so that you don't just get stuck so you don't get struck so you don't regret spending months and months building your application and nobody uh, will come for it so you see lots of persons use these apps you see this this top nine or top ten apps you can imagine this is the apps that you are really up against. You're up against WhatsApp, you're up against Telegram, TikTok, especially TikTok, Instagram, because everybody wants to be on social media. And social media, it's so easy. They don't have to do anything. It's so um, it's so easy to get started with. But yet, there are lots and lots and lots of other applications who have been able to get drive people's attention from TikTok, from Telegram, all the way to the application. And people get to use the application every single day so i'm gonna give you one tip right here one of the most important thing that you should do is to is to have a place where you give things for free this you could start this when you start building your application your flutter flow application turn cable or bubble application you could start this when you began building your application or even when you've launched your application it is not too late why? Because one of the easiest way to get, you know, the whole juice flowing is that it's to, for your customer to understand that you're relevant in some area, you're willing to give, and then they, that would transcend to app downloads, right? Give something out for free. You could do this using your social media handles where you get to share solutions to the pain point that your app is solving for free. So let's say, for example, you're building a you're building an e a storytelling application with Flutterflow. Yeah, you're building a storytelling application for moms to read bedtime story to their kids, and you're using AI to build that. So the application would you would build it in such a way that uh, mom will come around and tell the kind of story they want to, they want, and then the AI would read it to the child or read it to the mom or create the application depending on how you want it to be. So what you want to start doing is to start is to start sharing cool stuff to your target audience which is your mom right which is the mom right you want to start sharing uh stuff like easiest way to tell stories how how stories can help your child become very effective how stories can uh, can influence cognitive abilities so you want to start sharing start giving start giving start giving you know there's an amazing quote from the bible that says give and it's going to be given unto you so that's what you want to start doing and if you are let's say you're doing a web application and it's not just for the web or probably your audience they exist in the web also what you want to do you want to create something like this you want to create a a um a lead generation a lead generation um tool you know you want to create a landing page using a tool like card you know this is card you know create a landing page using a tool like card you can see all these are landing pages that i'm giving for free in order for me to get people to give me their email list so you create stuff like this and people give you their email list and when they give you their email list you can start establishing communications with them because it is one thing for people to download your application it is another thing for people to use it because what you are looking for you're looking for daily active users that's what you're looking for right so i'm going to recap a cool way to get people to start using your application for your application to stand out it's not even in the google store though is to est establish communication somewhere else right establish communication somewhere else like in any of this social media um circles like twitter instagram 
TikTok, establish communication, give a lot of things out for free. Uh, it could be things for them to download. It could be courses. It could be eBooks. It could be you just going live and making people understand that you know the problem you're solving. Or it could be you just setting up a landing page and then giving people um, some workbooks, some ebooks, some work materials for free that will help your ta target audience uh, um, uh, overcome a particular hurdle that your app is going to help them overcome. So let's say, for example, your app is going to help them overcome 10 hurdles. So what you want to do is to create a content that will help your target audience overcome one or two, and then you have eight left. That eight, they can come back to your application and overcome it. You understand right so that's what you want to do go ahead let me know what you think about that in the comment section and i'll definitely do what to reply if you also have questions and if you're looking forward to launching your flutter flow or your bubble or your no code application feel free to click on the link below i'll do what to respond to you thank you so much for your time do have a you know do have a beautiful day ahead bye